don't ever do this, getting up onto the ridge, it's a silly thing to do. There you can see. So what do you want first? Do you want the geeky bits? Do you want the time lapse? Do you want to see how it's performing? I think we'll start with jump into the technical design, look at the geeky bits, then we'll do a time lapse and some cinematography stuff. And then at the end, I'll show you how it's performing and if it's meeting our expectations. Days come, can you see what's here today? Yep, we've got the solar panels going on the roof. These are the ones we've gone for, all black, 430 watt. Let me find you a label that you can see. There you go, they're the Longi, Longi uh, Hymo something, 430 watt. Of course, I know what I'm talking about. And we got a stack there, and we got a stack there. So, how many panels we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We got 16 going on one of the roofs. So, uh, scaffolding about to go up, and the guys are having a little look. I'll show you what, uh, who I went with and who I've chosen. Oh, there you go, Dorset Solar Solutions is who I chose. You carry on, don't mind me. I'm gonna record a little video talking through how I understand this system. And if I'm wrong, then, you know, just shout at me, okay? So we've got the uh, original board for the house at the top. And then you saw in the other video when they did the heat pump, they put in these extra boards down here. And um, we're, we're now having this this one put in for the solar inverter. You can see it's right next to the big Sunsink 8 kilowatt. And this looks like the big isolator there for the PV. You can see they're just running some trunking along the bottom there. Try and keep everything AC on the right and DC on the left. And uh, hopefully this will help me remember everything. Let's have a look outside. Three, three DC cables coming down for three strings from the there will, there will be six. Six. Three strings. Oh, okay, to there make co connect the circuit. A sink. Right. You yeah. Yes. What's, what's oh, I see. I see. I see. So okay. Three, yeah. Three so pairs of positive and negative. Single instead of being like a two core or something. Okay. All right. Yeah, so it's gonna need some trunk in. Well, this has been tricky, getting all this scaffolding up. That's quite a span to go over there. Did you manage to get it all in one thing no, of trunk in? It was quite easy, actually. It was, oh. There's no time. Oh, these, okay. cables, these, cables, these cables are quite small. Right. Yeah, six of those is actually quite easy. That's bigger than normal conjure, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was, like, it was actually really easy. I thought it was really quick. Like, the nets are a bit tight, it's hard to push it through, but they went through them really easily. Which is better. It's nice to have one length of conjure. Is this the uh, CT clamp yeah. that measures it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So CT very clamp good. where you're doing very much. Obviously. But you're not, it's not relying on that because. Um, when there's no batteries, it relies on the CT valve, but that's how it knows when to charge yes. and discharge right. the batteries. Yeah. So. Yeah. so you see drilled through from the conduit, so all of that DC that. goes straight into the other side of that. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. That, okay. that is lined up with the Lovely. trunking on that side. Yeah, yeah see, it's like that. Looks good to me. Quite well. Yeah, so the CT will show what the, what the house is doing what it's using. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the inverter already knows how much is coming off the panels on knows the what's roof. Coming up, yeah. And so then the only other measurement is any other load from well, the house. It, any it has to cal calculate the load because um, because the load is fed from solar by right, usually batteries. Yeah. So from what comes in from the grid and the panels, they can work out what the house yes, is yeah, using. Yeah, yeah. Day two. 
and this is uh, Martin from Dorset so Solar Solutions and he's dealing with a fussy customer that <laughs> made him take the inverter back off the wall after it was all nicely positioned and uh, in uh, nice and solid on our plasterboard wall which I guess is always an uh, installer's dream having plasterboard to deal with. Okay, that side? Yep, you're in. Yeah. You go to one side at a time, doesn't really work. Is yeah, it? that's a heavy thing to be putting on by yourself. Did you get it on yesterday by yourself? No, no, Darren, me and Darren, it's Darren probably did. a lot easier. It's a two person job yeah. to make it easy, isn't it? Struggle with one person. The inverter was fine and solid where it was, but it was a uh, fussy customer with the motorbike was worried about um, the handlebar clipping on the cables there. So it's just taken up to the to the maximum clearance on the top to uh, still comply with the clearances for warranty and all that stuff. These guys have uh, marked out where the uh, marked out their structure where everything's going popping the tiles out one by one and uh, just grinding a little bit off the tile so that when these brackets go in on the rafters it all sits nice and flush and those brackets are quite strong yeah very nice very nice don't worry, your face won't be all over <laughs> YouTube. Your, your identity's secret. Nice, that's solid. Make sure you leave me a few bags of those bolts, yeah? <laughs> Very nice. Right. Very good. I'll leave you in peace. The sun's come out for me to record around the back here. What do you think of these 16 panels then facing the wrong way? Was this the right decision to spend the extra and get the roof covered? Or was this a fool's errand? Let me know what you think. How does that big sheet of black glass look then?
totally ruined all of the audio when Martin was speaking at the beginning. So I've tried to salvage it, but it's not synchronising with the footage. So I'll point out the bits uh, as Martin talks his way through it anyway, and hopefully it all makes sense in the end. It's How's it? Pretty How's it even now. Oh, even. Okay. All right. So just um, just ignore that anyway, and I'll just uh, I'll just give them the quick. This is Martin from Dorset Solar Solutions. He's just going to quickly run me through everything. Now it's up and running and seems to be performing okay. And I know I'm going to forget what all of this stuff does. So if you just take me through yeah. it, like roughly speaking. So you got a main switch surge protection and then an MCB for the solar. Okay, yeah. 40 amp MCB. Yeah. Uh, AC isolator, so if you ever want to turn it off for your maintenance or work okay. on your meter. Does the uh, AC isolator go in between the board and the inverter? Yes. It goes that way? Yeah. Okay, so you know you've got isolation here and then yes. again here really. So yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So you've got a meter. Yeah, which will record what you've generated. Okay, does is that uh, all generation or is that just the export That's on that one? All generation from the from the inverter. from the whole system. Yes, okay, whatever. it's lifetime generation basically. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Why is it doing that? Okay. Yep. Uh, and then you got DC isolator on this side. Right. Yep. For uh, the yeah, so you can turn the solar off there. Yep. You got you got three strings, but essentially you got front and back. So yeah, MPPT one that's labelled here. Yeah, it's the back, and MPPT two is the front on there. And you can't see that on the camera, but I'll move the camera la later when uh, when Martin's gone. I'll show you that he's put yeah. some nice stickers on there, so I can remember. So I'm terribly forgetful. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All good. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. And How are you going up? on off button there. Do the, the coloured lights on the Wi-Fi dongle mean anything? Green, just... green solid light means it's connected. Right, okay. Yeah. All right. So you shouldn't have to do okay. anything with that. Yeah, you shouldn't have Should, any issues. Uh, unless you change your router. No. Um, no. And we're really close to the router anyway. Yeah, it's, just, no, it's really easy. Know, four, connected really easily. Four or five metres, so pretty yeah. close. Okay, so um, as simple as that. Well, I mean, yeah, to me it looks super simple, but I know you guys have been running loads of cables and everything all over the place. Yeah, so it's only if you're ever doing any, if someone's doing work on a consumer unit or yeah. meter that you'd really turn it off. Yeah, that no, looks really neat. I like as well the cap in on the end of the trunk in. It's yeah. like a nice little um, finishing touch, isn't yeah. it? I noticed on the rails as well, I got some footage of it uh, with a camera like, having end caps on the rails. Yeah. I don't know if everyone does that. Not many people do, no. I, no, I've been, I've, the last few months, I've been really trying to spy on people's roofs. Yeah. And I notice a lot don't have bird protection and a lot don't have end caps no, on the No, not many put end so. caps on them. It doesn't, okay. it doesn't, like on the front ones, you wouldn't really notice so much because the rails are left to right. Yes. But okay. on that side, it, you yeah. would see eight at the bottom. Yeah. So. So from that side, that makes quite a lot of difference. I yes, think. yeah, yeah. So you're definitely. looking at, you'd see the bot, you'd actually see them. Yeah. <laughs> On the front we've got the six panels up there the same 430 longi Hymo six panels and these are all wired into tigo or tigo optimizers because of the shade that is cast from that 
front gable you see at the moment now they're pretty much all shaded apart from the uh, maybe a fraction of the top one so they're not generating a lot of power but they, they go into a control box that's in the loft so I can monitor each of those front panels individually we can see how, actually how much of a difference it makes and monitor that through the different seasons. So now I'm up here in the loft, you can see where the DC cables from the strings come in through the laps in the felt, nicely pinned up there, I like those staples, very good. And you can see that just runs across and then somewhere here, we'll see the second string coming through. So this is looking at the back of the house. So now we've got two strings here running down and meeting up with this one here, which is for the front string. So then you can see, if I get a little bit closer, you can see we've got those three strings now running down to the inverter, which just runs in a nice bit of conduit, one bit of conduit. You can see here we've got one cable which comes over and runs down. And I'll show you a little... So this is the little box that they that uh, Martin's put in the loft for us and this connects into the Tigo optimizers which then gives us panel by panel information on what's going on on the front. So again that's nicely tucked away and hooked into a few spur and that's the setup in the loft. It's cold and cloudy but we've got seven solar panels on the roof. We woke up to minus one, but we also woke up to this on our southeast, uh, southeast aspect of our roof. I'll take you around the other side and show you what they've done around there. Don't ever do this, getting up onto the ridge. It's a silly thing to do. You can see. This is our six southeast facing panels. And this is our 16 northwest facing panels. So far, completely gloomy January morning, minus one and total cloud cover. As you can see, nice and thick. And when I looked, we were generating 650 watts. So it's something taking the load of but so far um 824 eight, yeah it's fluctuating it a little bit but 820 something watts for the back roof and 820 something watts for the front roof yeah oh it, yeah well it's changing a little bit but almost equal yeah which that's, is quite, that's uh, very that's quite interesting yeah. isn't it actually it's for you to look in that what it's actually generated and we are using all of that power and we're just bringing a little bit in just 100 200 watts from the grid so it's that generated three and a half kilowatts as we've been on i don't know three and a half kilowatts yeah it's been on two and a half hours do you reckon that's that's got to be good going do you yeah think that's, that's quite good, good. Going yeah yeah that's, that's quite good well it's exceeded my expectations <sighs> already but we've only had it on a couple of hours so yeah I'll let you know how it goes in a few weeks. You can monitor it all from your side anyway. Yeah, I can see it all. I'll yeah. let the people in the video know how we get on yeah. and how it goes on for the like uh, weeks and months. And most probably the the thing that I'm most interested in is just uh, monitoring how much we roughly get and then adjusting the heat pump to absorb most of that solar okay. power. That's my that's my ultimate plan. What? Yeah. Well, right now we're using a lot of power, but everyone's home, uh, the kids are home, and it's cold. And salima has got the washing machine and tumble dryer and the dishwasher, literally everything. So we're running pretty flat out, and yeah, it's cold, so the heat pump will yeah. be running so And this has been well. open, loft's been open. Mm. So, yeah. Oh, I'm glad I made the right choice because. I haven't even told you why I chose you over the other quotes. Why is Have that? Have you got any inklings? Any no. Other? no. Well, I, I'm a firm believer that 
we do business with people and not yeah. with companies. And some of the big companies were very much just like, uh, they gave me the impression that it was a tick box exercise yeah. and they were just like in and out and done. Whereas you came personally, looked at the job personally, you're going to be the person installing it. Yeah. And that for oh, me good. just sold it massively. Oh, good. Finding a few positive reviews also helps. It yes, gives sir. you a bit of confidence. But On the surface, I look fine. My brain feels heavy, my traumatized mind. And I'm so tired, I can't feel my eyes. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh. I'm petty, but I know how to lie. I feel feelings that I can't describe. I'm not breathing, but I'm still alive. Whoa, oh. Giving up, I'm not giving up